Hello everybody, my name is Sanan and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Quicken Loans and Amerisave. These have advertised all over Facebook, all over social media, and you've probably seen one of their advertisements. And you're thinking about using their services. So you came to the right video. In today's video, we are going to compare their interest rates, their customer service, we're going to look at all the products they offer and a ton of other things. We are going to put them side by side and we're going to see which one comes out on top. Me personally, I have used both of these services. I have refinanced my mortgage with Amerisave and I have refinanced another mortgage with Quicken Loans. So that kind of gives me the right to compare them side by side. And at the end of this video, I will tell you which one I prefer and which one I think is just a little bit better. So make sure you watch the video until the very end. Also, if you have any questions about either of these services, do not hesitate to drop it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions and hopefully help you a little bit in deciding which service provider you want to go with. But before we get started, I'll greatly appreciate it if you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. It helps this channel out tremendously. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we are going to jump right into the video and start comparing Quicken Loans and Amerisave. And now let's do a quick history lesson on these mortgage lenders. Amerisave Mortgage Corporation was founded in 2002 and it is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. The mission of Amerisave is to provide their customers with beneficial, responsible home lending solutions. Quicken Loans is the older of the two and it was founded in 1985. Their mission is to provide you with an excellent mortgage experience. So Quicken Loans has been around way longer. Now you have to pick between a company that has been doing it way longer or the newcomer that might knock off Quicken Loans off of its throne. And now let's compare their Better Business Bureau ratings. We're going to have them both side by side and we're going to see which one comes out on top. Let's start with Amerisave Mortgage. Their current customer rating is 4.02 out of 5 stars. This is based off of 648 reviews. So the way they calculate this rating is very simple. They have a rating system between one and five stars. And people that have used their service, they can simply write a review and give their rating. And that is how they get the average of 4.02 stars out of five. And let's look at Quicken Loans. Quicken Loans has a rating of 3.72 out of five stars. And this is the average of 1,936 customer reviews. So you can see that Quicken Loans has more than double the reviews of Amerisave. Quicken Loans is probably the biggest refinance mortgage company in the United States of America. That is why they have a ton of customer reviews, simply because they're the biggest dog in the yard and they get all the customers. Amerisave, on the other hand, is a newer company. That is why they do not have as many reviews, but their rating is better than Quicken Loans. So the Better Business Bureau gives Amerisave the rating of A, which is pretty good. But on Quicken Loans, they have a rating of A+. Also, Quicken Loans has been a Better Business Bureau accredited business for over 20 years. And they have gotten that award. They have also gotten the 10-year accredited award as well. On the other hand, Amerisave is a newer company, so they do not get these accreditations. And now we are going to compare one of the most important things when looking to purchase a home or to refinance your home, and that is the interest rates. These interest rates are as of today, as I make this video October 27th, 2020. So if you're watching this video a year from now or two years from now, the interest rates will be different. So as of today, these are the interest rates that these carriers offer. Let's start out with a Mary Save Mortgage and see what kind of rates they offer. As of today, their 15 year fixed interest rate is 2.25% and their 30 year fixed interest rate is 2.25%, 
which is absolutely amazing. And now let's compare it to the interest rates that Quicken Loans offers. As of today, a 15 year fixed with Quicken Loans is 2.625%. Also, a 30 year fixed with Quicken Loans is 2.99%. As you can see, a Mary Save mortgage has way better interest rates than the Quicken Loans. And I can personally vouch that the latest mortgage that I refinanced, I refinanced it with a Mary Save simply because they gave me a better interest rate. When I was getting pre-approved, Quicken Loans gave me an interest rate of 3.1% and Amerisave gave me an interest rate of 2.5%. So I ended up refinancing my latest mortgage with Amerisave. But one thing that I would like to mention is that everybody gets a different interest rate. Interest rates are determined by a couple of factors such as the trends in the housing market, also your personal credit score. If you have a bad credit score, your interest rates will be a little bit higher. But if you have an excellent credit score, expect to get the best interest rates that the lender offers. Also, one other factor that plays into your interest rate is your down payment. If you are putting a big down payment, you might get a better interest rate compared to somebody that is not putting down a down payment at all so what i suggest is you get a quote from at least three or four different lenders and then compare the interest rates that you are getting with each one this way you will get the best interest rate possible for your situation also if you are looking for some lenders that offer a good interest rate make sure you check out the links in the description box below get at least three or four quotes and compare them side by side and now i will show you what kind of products a Mary Save offers and what kind of products Quicken Loans offers. A Mary Save offers various loan options such as fixed rate loans, adjustable rate loans, cash out refinance. A Mary Save also offers FHA loans, jumbo loans, HARP loans, VA loans, and USDA loans. On the other hand, Quicken Loans offers pretty much the exact same options, but they also have reverse mortgage options and now let's compare some of their top features that each lender offers let's start out with amerisave they offer low down payments so if you do not have a lot of money saved up to buy your dream home but you really really want to buy it you'll be able to get a low down payment option with amerisave also one of the biggest features that amerisave offers is the select your loan option, which is absolutely amazing. After you fill out all your information on their website, they are going to give you a list of different options for your situation. And these options will include different monthly payments, different interest rates, different terms like 15 years, 20 years, 30 year mortgages. They will give you comparison of all of those options and you'll be able to choose personally which option you want, which is absolutely amazing. I love this feature. I have used it when I refinanced my home mortgage with Amerisave. This is one of my favorite features of Amerisave. Also with Amerisave, you can do the entire process online, which makes it quick and easy. And now let's look at the options that Quicken Loans offers. With Quicken Loans, you are able to lock in your interest rate as soon as you are pre-approved, which is absolutely awesome, simply because if the interest rates are extremely low and you are afraid that the interest rates will rise, you'll be able to lock in your interest rate until you complete your home purchase or your home refinance. This is a very, very good feature. But Amerisave does not offer this option. They use something called the floating interest rate, which means that your interest rate is not locked in when you get pre-approved, until the loan is closed. Also with Quicken Loans, you get customer service contact from a professional 24 seven. So if you have any questions or need advice on what is your best option, you might as well call Quicken Loans and see what their experts have to say. Keep in mind that they will try to sell you on one of their options. That is how they make money. So keep that in mind. Also their entire process is done online from home buying to home refinancing with Quicken Loans 
everything is done online. And now let's talk about the speed. Which company will close on your loan the fastest? In this case, Quicken Loans gets the win for sure, simply because they have Rocket Mortgage. And with Rocket Mortgage, they speed up the entire process. And with Quicken Loans, everything is done online and in-house, which makes the process way faster than Amerisave. With Amerisave, they also have the online process, but most of the time, it is between online and speaking to our agent over the phone. So you get both online and over the phone, but this kind of slows down the process. And now let's touch up on their customer service. Both companies, in my opinion, have excellent customer service. I did not have any complaints with either one, but with a Mary Save, it is more difficult to get in touch with a person, especially right now when they are extremely busy, when everybody is refinancing their home mortgages because how low interest rates are. On the other hand, with Quicken Loans, they have 24 seven customer service. You can chat with somebody on their website, you can call them over the phone, but overall my customer service experience with both providers was pretty good. I had no issues whatsoever. And now let's talk about some of the cons with each of these providers. One of the biggest cons with Quicken Loans is they constantly email you, they constantly call you over the phone. If the interest rate drops like 0.1%, they are calling you to see if they can sell you some other option. If they can get you to refinance again or do something where they make some kind of commission. Me personally, I do not like this simply because I am really into personal finance. I follow all the interest rates almost on a daily basis. I invest in real estate. So I am up to date on all of this information. So one thing that I do not like about a Mary Save is they do not lock in your interest rate when you are pre-approved. You get a floating rate. So for example, if they tell you the rate of 2.5% and while you are refinancing your home or you are buying your home, the entire process, let's say a month in, the interest rate goes up to 2.6%. Now you have to settle for the higher interest rate. Also, this goes the other way around. If they tell you the rate of 2.5% and interest rates continue to drop and now they are at 2.2%. Now you will get the benefit of the lower interest rate. So this thing goes both ways, but personally not knowing what my official interest rate is does not sit well with me. I like to know the exact numbers that I am getting. All right, everybody, I appreciate you making it till the end of this video, but remember guys, every situation is different. The rates that I am getting, the benefits that I am getting might be different from the interest rates that you are getting, your down payment might be different. Your credit score might be different. You might be watching this video a year or two from now. Interest rates and terms might be completely different. Every situation depends on the individual. So I encourage you to get at least three to four different quotes and compare them side by side. So check out the link in the description for some of the best lenders in the United States. And now for the conclusion, which company do I prefer? Well, both situations were completely different, but the last time I did my refinance, I chose a Mary Save simply because they gave me a better interest rate. Most of the terms that came along were very similar, such as closing costs, the 30 year term, everything else was almost identical, but the interest rate was slightly cheaper with a Mary Save. So I decided to go with a Mary Save. But like I just said earlier, Every situation is different. All right, everybody, if you have enjoyed this comparison, make sure you smash the like button on this video. Also subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, see you in the next video. Peace out.